let's go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, this is for the Quest 3, which comes out October 10th. Let's find some details about it. So all I know, all right, so I'm brand new at VR. All I have is a PlayStation VR 2, but I'm looking to get into more PC VR um, and some standalone stuff. So the, the Quest has me very excited, and I'm going to pre-order the Quest 3 so I can start playing some Quest games and some PC VR. I'm very excited. So new content in the future on the channel. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Have you seen so many nerds in one place? <laughs> I love it. It is really good to be in person with all of you. It has been He looks like a human. He's got color. He doesn't look like an android. It's it's really fun to be in person. So, we have a lot of exciting stuff that we're going to talk about today. We have uh we have Quest 3. Yes, and, um, let's go. Of course, it's completely standalone. No okay. wires, no battery pack. It so that it can be affordable for everyone. There we go. Quest 3. And innovation to bring the future to millions or eventually billions of people is a big part of what we do. And I think that that's really important, too. All right. So with that all said, let's jump right in. Let's do it. <laughs> Mixed reality, AI, and smart classes. Okay, that's the three things we're going to be talking about. First, we are incredibly... Let's go. I'm excited. I'm excited. Three, the first mainstream mixed reality headset. Because all I know is a PlayStation VR 2, which I love, but I'm stuck to the play PlayStation 5. Quest 3 is it's the most powerful headset that we have ever shipped, and it allows you to blend the physical and digital worlds together. You can navigate it with our, just your hands if you want. Which my left hand does not work. Um, or with these brand new precision controllers that we've designed for games or work or things that you where you want some extra precision. And, you know, of course, it's completely standalone. No wires, no battery pack, That excites nothing me. Nothing like that that's going to break your, your sense of presence. So w when you put on Quest 3, uh, you see the physical room around you. Only now it is a canvas that you can bring your digital objects into the world. You know, Quest 3, it, it, it understands see, your space. So you can this stuff is what really flipping excites me. This whole mixed reality stuff. Build your own creations. I don't know. I To me, it seems so flipping cool. Play games like BAM with your friends sitting around a table whether you're physically right there together. Or I'm so excited to experience this. You know, people love working out in Quest. But now, if you're doing a body combat workout, the targets are going to come at you in your physical room, whether you're in your living room or if you're you're, uh, you're in your home gym, you're be able to look around and see the room around you, so you're going to be a lot more comfortable you know, swinging your arms and moving your body. The limits of your physical space are going to be able to expand. So you're going to be able to be a part of much larger worlds. You know, there's one point in the Stranger Things game where you can be sitting in your living room or anywhere else, and portals to the upside down open right there. See, that's cool. Now, these experiences now, can you step into those and be in the VR part of it? Three. Seamless? Shows your physical space with 10 times more pixels than what we had on Quest 2. And it automatically maps the space that you're in using two dedicated color camera sensors and a depth sensor, which makes it so that if you, you know, pick up a digital ball and throw it at the physical wall, it'll bounce off it. That's cool. Or if someone's shooting at you and you want to duck to fire, you can just get behind your physical couch. See, I dig this. I dig this, y'all. The thought of this sounds really neat to me. Yeah. Now, this also means that you're going to be able to take a big virtual screen and just drop it wherever you are, and it'll show up in your physical room. And, and this is going to unlock a lot of awesome experiences for hanging out with people, watching content. You know, even if they're not there with you. This could be cool if now, one thing if it's I'm comfortable. Really excited to share today. I could see myself using this. Xbox Cloud Gaming is coming to Quest in December. Oh, that's big. That's huge. So, you're going to be able to play you know, hundreds of Xbox games, including titles like Halo and Minecraft and Elder Scrolls. Yo, y'all, that's do that that's cool. I know it's not going to be VR, but that's pretty cool. Now, we're just scratching the surface. I think that's huge. When you can drop virtual objects into your physical space. 
And next year, uh, we're launching something that we call Augments, which are basically persistent, spatially anchored digital objects that you can interact with. So, you know, you can put a frame on your wall with photos and videos from Facebook and Instagram. Um, you can put a digital portal. But does it look this good? Here, so every time you walk by it, you can easily jump into a supernatural. Will it look account. this good? What do y'all think? So, there's a lot to do here. All right, and with mixed reality on Quest 3, um, the transition is, is seamless. So if you're in an immersive experience, you can always just double tap on your headset to get back to your physical environment, and you'll see the immersive world that you're in. Just Dude, I'm excited, man. Back in your physical space. This is like a new console coming out for me. All right, I'm really excited to see what all of you do with this. Uh, I'm really excited to get this in your hands. This is going to be a big a game changer and a, a big capacity improvement for, for these headsets. Now, on top of this, we also have the world's best library of fully immersive content. And there are a bunch of new titles that are coming, and they take advantage of all of the new power that is in this Quest 3 headset. Because this is the first headset that is shipping with the next generation uh, Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 Qualcomm processor. It's got I, don't, I don't know what this means. Graphics performance of anything we've shipped before, and we designed new pancake lenses and paired them with new displays. So I need to learn what pancake lenses are. So if you know what pancake lenses are, in layman's terms, please put it down in the comments. I need to look it up and research it. For the original, you needed a full gaming PC and a headset that was wired to it um, in order to get it to work. And the sequel runs natively on Quest 3, and it looks awesome. Assassin's Creed Nexus. Finally here. Finally here. Yeah, I'm sure. What are you waiting for? I, I know a lot of us have been waiting for this. Um, well, it's Ubisoft. Well, what's going to be wrong with it? And there were a bunch of other major developers who are bringing great titles out of the open. If Assassin's platform. Creed works and works well, it's going to be awesome. We have like Roblox, which is launching today. I'm really excited for this one after taking the time to optimize it for VR. I'm okay with this. Roblox has a lot. It is a big deal. There's also a, a major live sports season coming up with X Stadium. Uh, X Stadium. So, you know, we got fully immersive NBA games for free on us. Ooh. You, know, you can literally sit courtside from your couch. Um, if you're into fighting like me, um, you can watch LFA or Cage Warriors from UFC Fight Pass in 180 degree 4K resolution. Wait, I mean, how good is it going to be? Pretty much the I know what he says, 4K and... The Octagon. Oh, well, that's pretty awesome, too. Um, I think that was a jab at Elon to fight Elon. Of awesome new Horizon content coming. Obviously, these people know what Horizon is. Love it. I don't know what it is. Super Rumble and Citadel, which have gone to the top of the, the charts of popular Horizon destinations. Um, you know, as you can see, the... The visuals continue making big steps up, and, and these are just some of the most most fun social okay. games that are out. So those must be free to play. Be excited about Quest 3. Mm, me it too. The most powerful headset yet with the next generation processor, better displays and optics. Yep. It's 40% thinner. I can't wait. I cannot wait to try this thing. And it comes with the great new precision control. I'm very excited for this. I don't know why. It was like when the PlayStation 5 came out. That's kind of the way I feel like. I'm very excited for this. And optimized it hardware stack, the software stack, so it can deliver amazing mixed reality and the world's best immersive content library. So there it is. Nice. Let's go. I can't wait. I can't wait. He's excited. <laughs> that's that's me, man. That's me. Quest 3. It is shipping on August 10th. You can order it today for $499. Wait. Wait a minute. Um, did he say August? He said August, didn't he? <laughs> so nobody reminded him. Dude, you mean October? Okay, October. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. All right, let's go. Not August, people. All right. October. Now, you know, I mean, when I just think about this stuff, I mean, looking back, I, I just think it's it's kind of wild that you know, five years ago, the state of the art was you needed a big gaming PC and a headset that was wired to, and you need to set up all these sensors in order to be able to do some of this stuff. And now, you know, we're sitting here and you can do all of this with even better resolution plus mixed reality 
take it anywhere you want for, for just four ninety nine. Yeah, I mean, think about it. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Is to continue to lead in developing the state of the art on this, and also to continue leading on bringing the best devices to everyone. And I'm really proud of the progress that the team has made here. So, congrats, guys. All right, right before our eyes, and we're going to bring these futuristic technologies to market, just like Mark said, to the mass market in a way that nobody else can. So let's take a deeper dive into each of those, starting with Quest. Yes, please. That's all I want. We can't talk about Quest 3 without recognizing what made it possible. Quest 2, first announced here at Connect in 2020, and it was a game changer for the I industry. wonder when the Quest 3 comes out. And it set the standard. How much lower in price will the Quest 2 be? It's the device that introduced. 200, 199? I mean, could, do you think it could drop down to that? Tens of millions of people have their first experience. I don't know how much the Quest 2 costs. I think it's three or 400 bucks, right? Now, three years later, Quest 3 is the beginning of the next wave. It builds on all the things that people love about Quest 2, but it also brings something completely new to the mass market, mixed reality. This new headset still enables all the immersive VR experiences that people love on Quest, but it can also deliver new experiences that blend your physical and your digital environments together. This isn't one or the other. It can do both. Sometimes you want to be fully immersed, and sometimes you want to see everything that's happening around you augmented with digital objects, and sometimes it'll even be both at the same time. That's what I'm talking about. Games can now incorporate your surroundings into the gameplay. And if you're watching live sports, it can transition. Okay, this is all the same stuff. I wonder if he's going to... theater. Is he going to add to this? ...screen on your living room wall. Like with tech talk. Wherever you are, all you have to do is double tap the side of the headset to switch between a fully immersive space and a blended environment. You experience the difference mixed reality brings from the very moment you put on your Quest 3, because the first thing you see is the world around you. But to enhance that full color pass through in the Quest 3, we've increased the resolution, we've improved the color accuracy, we've reduced distortions and latency. And you're not just seeing a live video feed of the space that you're in. Quest 3 can understand your space and blend it with the virtual world. See, this is where I wish with the PlayStation VR 2, if they made the pass-through color. I think by them doing it... Oh, did you hear that? PlayStation boundary. I think... 3 does that automatically. Yeah. This extends the room capture, so it automatically maps your space and understands elements like walls, furniture, and objects. Once they're mapped, they become a part of your virtual environment too. This makes a lot of new experiences possible. Games can I'm sure in a couple years there'll be a PSVR 2 Pro, right? Then that makes sense. An alien spaceship descends from your ceiling and lands on your coffee table. And next year, you'll be able to customize your space with a library of augments that interact with the world in ways that physical objects can't. Now he's talking about the same exact thing. Dynamic 3D objects or 2D displays, and they can all exist together in the same space. You can size, place, and spatially anchor augments so every time you put on your headset, they're right where you are. Oh, live. that's cool. Like, if you get a trophy, you can put a trophy. You could have a whole desktop full of trophies and they'll always be there. Augments can blend parts of your favorite... I think that's what that is. ...into the world around you. You can keep Beat Saber trophies on your shelf. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. ...size artifacts from games like Population 1 or Asgard's Wrath in your living room. Or you can bring your favorite artists and stations to... See, guys, I like this. I like this stuff. I Heart Radio. I mean, we're just getting a cancer world with augmented reality. Some of the best new titles coming to Quest 3 take advantage of this mixed reality capability, and you'll hear about those in a few minutes. Could just be a gimmick. I have no idea, but I'm excited about it. ...powerful Quest we've ever made, because it's the world's first device to feature Qualcomm's new Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 platform. And the Quest developers that we have already building on Quest 3 have told us that this chipset has let them push graphics and gameplay to places that have not been possible until now. You will feel the power immediately when you put out, take out an app that has already op been optimized to take advantage of what Quest 3 is capable of. And it does all of this, by the way, on a standalone headset. No wires, no battery pack, no console to plug into. <laughs> We've also made big improvements to the display and the optics stack. It's a new display system 
and a new generation of the same pancake lenses that we debuted on Quest Pro last year. The result is an almost 30% increase in resolution. Those pancake lenses are also one of the reasons we've been able to slim down the Quest 3. I really need to look up what pancake lenses are, and then maybe I'll do a video and more even weight for, for us normal people that don't get all the tech jargon an upgrade too. of what the difference is. The tracking ring. This allows for a much slicker, more ergonomic design that feels like a natural extension of your hand. I don't like the way the controller looks. And of course, speaking of hands, that's another great way to use your Quest 3. With hand tracking and a new direct touch system, you can put down your controllers and interact with Quest in the same way that you would a touch screen. We've also got an all new range of accessories for the- Ooh, colors, colors. Multiple color options. That's cool. That's an interface. And there's a great new charging dock too. Starting at $499, this is gonna be the best value spatial computing headset. How much is the expensive one? There's an expensive one. 600 for the 512. But just being the best headset doesn't mean all that much without all the things that you can do on it. So next up- 650 maybe? All the great content coming to Quest 3. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Manuel here, and I'm gonna try the Quest 3 for the first time. Yo, it's Tech Man Ju. Let's hop into Quest 3. Are these content creators? I don't know. Dude, Game Pass on it is really cool. So you can tap it anywhere, not just um, cause he tapped it near his ear. All, the one All right, you know what? I think that's gonna be it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm serious. I I I kid you not. I do this when I stream live. I'm so thankful that people come into my streams and 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 interact and watch this old guy play video games and just have a good time and enjoy life and share with me um um, triumphs and, and 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 setbacks in their life, and I try to help them. They try to help me. Think you know, we we got a nice family. That's kind of the way I'm feeling about this. I kept, I keep seeing the same people comment. Um, I've had some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, um, direct messages to me from on Twitter from people, and from by my heart, guys. Thank y'all so much. Y'all been y'all been just humbling me like crazy with this with this YouTube channel with VR. Um, I'm very excited to keep going with it. Um, I do apologize that I haven't not. I haven't been able to pump out as many videos as I want. I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm going through some health problems right now. It's more physical than anything else. Um, once I get that nailed out, we'll be good. Um, and with that, guys, I love y'all so much. And thank you for everything that you've done for me in this channel. Let's keep this going. And remember, always, always, my friends, choose kindness on everything you do. Guys, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>